What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys, I wanted to do this video talking about me actually getting every single holy relic in Grand Cross. I kind of wanted to show you guys all the holy relics and uh, you know, kind of go through my account and give you guys an idea of how long it took, um, what teams I mainly used on my, my, on my Demonic Beast runs and uh, kind of just talking about it. So let's hop into the video and let's discuss the topic. All right, so if we go to my uh, box right here, we actually filter by Holy Relic. You guys can see here that every single unit does not say Holy Relic required or whatever. Like, uh, I mean, registrable. Okay, I can give it to Eskinor. I guess I took it off of him. But literally every single character in my box has a Holy Relic that has one, basically. For any character that needed a Holy Relic, I gotta give that back to King. For any character that needed a Holy Relic, they have it right so that's that's just something that's pretty cool uh, it took a long time i will say a lot of gar uh, a lot of grinding a lot of hard work you know you guys know i've been in you know when we did those streams back in like you know a few months ago when i wasn't in classes um i was able to do like so many runs on bird deer and i was farming all these holy relics so i was able to grind it all up Let's actually go to the uh, creature's nest area and I'm going to show you guys. So if we go to craft holy relic here, you guys can see if I go to hide completed, I've collected every single holy relic, even with school and hottie as well, even with school and hottie as well. So all the demon relics, all the giant relics so far that I've released, I've gotten them. I've gotten all the deer relics and I've gotten all the bird relics. And so you guys might be wondering, amazing, how were you able to do this and how long did it take? Was it, was it, you know, was it that bad of a grind really? Um, I will say, um, one thing that definitely helped was farming when it was double drops on bird and deer. Um, if you guys don't know, a few months ago, we actually did have double drops on bird and the deer, and I was able to pre-farm up, like, a ton of mats so that if a, if a new character dropped with, like, you know, I don't know, like, a relic from, like, the deer, let's say, and I didn't have mats, I farmed it up then, I pre-farmed it so that I had the character available. So, yeah, man, like... Uh, when they do like double drops on school and hottie and they make it so that you're guaranteed uh, a twilight source from the stage clear That's when it's gonna be like really crazy because then people are gonna be able to farm school and hottie relics as well Because um, right now it's only deer and the bird right so in terms of teams I used um, The bird it's been a while since I've, I've run it, but I'd say the best team in my opinion is probably like something like this uh, Let me just get where's fest there? Um yeah, something like this, right? And then you put Trader Melly. I think like a team like this could definitely be one of the better teams for it. Um, you could put Kusak in this slot as well, uh, cause he did get a Holy Relic, right? Uh, where is Kusak? Can't find him. Uh, Kusak, where is he? I'm actually, I'm actually like so lost right now. Where is he? What? <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay, Kusak, you could put him. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I think the rest of the team could stay. You could put a taunt unit here if you want to play it safe. Like, if you want to do, like, I used to run Deanna a lot. I think Deanna is probably the better option, too. But if you want to speed run it, then uh, this team is going to be the way to go. Uh, but yeah, that's Bird, basically. Let's move into the Deer now. Let's talk about Deer team. So I was, this is when I did the free-to-play team. Uh, but we can remove that. I don't, I don't like, usually run free-to-play team when I do it. Um, in terms of the teams I run, we run Freyr. We run uh, Brunhild. Uh, wherever she is, Brunhild, and then we run the one Eskinor, and that's going to be the team on the deer. Like, it's fairly straightforward. Like, I just go for the strongest character of each typing for PvE. Red uh, is definitely Freyr, green is definitely Brunhild, and then blue is the one Eskinor in terms of PvE viability. Plus, he has death on his ultimate, Freyr has death on his ultimate. You know, uh, it's really easy. You don't even need Jormungand Relic with this team, and it's and it's easy, right? Like, with Jormungand Relic, like, it's just a walk in the park, guys. So, yeah, man. Then, in terms of the card set, um, I don't know why. I think I changed it off of the damage dealt card set. I think that's the one that you should be running. Yeah, this one right here. So, I'll have that one. Um, and I also had damage dealt card set on the uh, bird one as well. So, you guys can see uh, that is going to be the way to go if you are farming it. Um, and, yeah. And then, in terms of my school and hottie team, I've been running this one lately. Because uh, I want to, you know, get an idea of how... Uh, good this one uh, can be right because I've been using the uh, the green Elizabeth one so you guys don't know there's this team right here right there's also the green Elizabeth so let me get her uh, yeah the green Elizabeth trader Melly team so you would swap uh, trader Melly uh, in for bond and then Elizabeth in for King and then that's gonna be your like your you know this is gonna be another school and hottie team as well um, but I do think right now uh, I will say that the Bond team is safer. 
in a sense you know what i mean like i i think running brawler bond is a lot safer because the only thing you're really w relying on is just you getting the good rng with cards on king because if you don't get king cards and you lose but if you get king cards then you know it's it's very easy running this team man um yeah that's basically like the rundown of like the teams i've used in in terms of like clearing and if you guys are wondering like what i did every single week in terms of which you know demonic beast i chose um i did choose school and hottie every time since its release and every week since school and hottie's release i have cleared all three floors so you know that is definitely something to take into account obviously i know a lot of you guys watching this video are not going to be able to do that but if you have characters available for bird or deer whatever the case build the team and definitely make sure to farm it out right you don't have to necessarily farm it out like right now um i would recommend though like hey, let's say you only have Miguelda set up a team on bird and make sure that your challenge reward is from the bird you don't want to have challenge reward from like school and hottie when you can't clear it but then that's just a waste so yeah i'd recommend like it depending on your teams and like what you really want is as well in terms of holy relics like definitely prioritize doing those and then yeah man that's basically it uh, but yeah as you guys can see man we have collected all the holy relics and once they announce like more holy relics i'll be able to make them like if you guys like uh when i show you guys my mats uh, you can still see i have 94 wind sources so anytime they drop like a bird relic i'm there i'll be ready and then in terms of like uh deer relics i'll have to farm a little bit more obviously and i just since i just got uh my dn relic i only have three left of the twilight sources but yeah man it, it did take a long time guys it is a grind but it's definitely worth it in terms of just like you know having a more complete account in my opinion um i do think it's like a really nice thing to have holy relics and all the characters and it's also you know an increase into your box cc your constellation it's gonna benefit your whole account regardless of whose relic you get even if it's not a good relic right like i even got the really bad relics like where's uh where is lilia where's regular lilia like her relic is really bad but i still got it you know what i mean i got every single holy relic so i grinded it all up um it did take a while but uh yeah man that's the accomplishment right there i have completed all the holy relics i got the infinity gauntlet right now so <laughs> uh yeah that's basically it for the video guys i just wanted to show you guys the uh, accomplishment that I've, I've gotten here and uh give you guys some tips and tricks on like what teams i use and how i went about it yeah man once they announce that school and how do you can like permanently farm it that's gonna be really good we're also still waiting on a holy relic for thonar herself because you guys know that like school and how is like super difficult still even with having like a team like this like it's still super difficult so the moment they announce like a thonar holy relic i think that's when we're probably going to be getting farmable school and hottie and then from then on we're basically going to be set in terms of people getting holy relics like a lot of people are just going to start racking up holy relics at that point so, yeah, man, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.